All right, welcome back. Just in case you just joined us, you're still watching uh, News Up. We're still staying with the conversation around um, the France-Africa uh, Finance Summit uh, that is still ongoing and the many resolutions that have been, been reached and many appeals and uh, many proposals that have been put forward at that summit. Yes, we just finished speaking with Dr. Melafi Abadaya. Uh, Would did express quite some worrying uh, perspective. Uh, still moving on with that conversation we have uh, in the studios, we have... Um, uh, Risha Matusa Idodo Amore, she's the secretary of the Franco-Nigeria Chamber of Commerce. So good to have you join us this beautiful morning. Barista, yes, I know you're a lawyer. Yes, uh, so good to have you on the show this morning. Thank you. Let's, let's kick start from where we stopped with um, uh, Dr. Melafia. Uh, if there was one thing that anybody did not hear from him or that everybody heard from him, it would be the fact that um, he, did, he was very specific. He said, we should think through our friendships. Hmm. Uh, which for me is, is very, very imperative. Mm -hmm. Think through our friendships. How would you react to the, the skepticism that he did express in um, Africa's relationship with France, looking at all the goodies that France uh, tends to, to bring to the fore uh, for Africa? Okay, uh, first, b before, b before we start the conversation, uh, I'd like to say that I'm here in my personal capacity as an international lawyer oh, yeah. and uh, uh, analyst, okay. not in capacity as, as Franco Nigeria Chamber of Commerce. Um, I think that it's, it's, uh, it's natural in uh, international relations and any relations at all uh, to be cautious where, wherever you go of any friendships so that his, um, the caution that he's expressed is normal because uh, one thing that we must realize is that in the world of geopolitics in the world of international relations in in any world there is no such thing as free gift and there's really no such thing as aid mm. every gift has something tied to it from the donor every moving forward by a, a helper is always laced with an interest. So it is up to us to know what we want to gain from a particular relationship and not to come from the standpoint of, oh, they are helping us. It's, it's not that. It's, not, it's, it's only when one talks about um, uh, Pen Well, Father Christmas, yeah. that you can say that there can be a free gift. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in international relations, there is no free gift. So it is for, it's up to us, mm. it is up to us to open our eyes and be aware, to define what it is that Nigeria wants to gain from this particular relationship. Mm. Mm. And, and, uh, uh, when you also think about the, the sort of countries, for example, which surround Nigeria, they're all French-speaking mm. nations, Chad, Niger, Cameroon, I heard the, the president's spokesperson, Gaba Shewe, express that viewpoint, that it will make sense for us to be part of this party. Yes. Usually, Nigeria won't have gotten an invitation for this because you're probably looking at French-African mm. uh, countries. But I've looked at some of the countries on that list, and interestingly, mm. I found Nigeria in there, Kenya, mm. Egypt, South Africa, Ghana, Ghana you know, they're not, they're not colonized by the French. Mm. And then... Um, Rwanda, well, that's a different case because mm. Kagame is, looks like they're trying to mend fences with the French after the genocide. Yeah. So I guess that um, it's understandable. But the Nigerian, uh, the expansion, the introduction of Nigeria, Ghana, you know, into this mix. Mm. Would you say that maybe the French are hoping to extend their frontiers as Nigeria be suspicious of this or be okay with it? No, no, I, I don't think that Nigeria should be suspicious at all. In fact, uh, uh, if Nigeria wasn't invited, then, then you'll say that there was a problem. And uh, one thing that you must understand is Nigeria is actually France's uh, uh, largest trading partner yeah. in, in West Africa. Yeah. Right. So Nigeria must be there. Mm. Um, that's one. Two, it's a geographical fact that Nigeria is, is totally mm. surrounded by Francophone countries. Mm. Totally surrounded by Francophone countries. So that anything that happens to Nigeria's neighbors mm. would affect Nigeria. 
And everything, anything that happens in Nigeria would also affect these uh, Francophone neighbors. Mm. So for that reason, uh, also, Nigeria mm. uh, ought to be uh, at, the, at, at this meeting. Mm. So it's, it's nothing strange at all. Mm. It's, um, it's, uh, it's important, first of all, for, for, for Nigeria to have been invited. Yeah. And it's also important for, for Nigeria to, to take an active part uh, in the meetings uh, in, in, and uh, for Nigeria to define what her own interests are. Mm. In fact, it's an opportunity which uh, uh, Nigeria must not miss. Okay, very interesting. Uh, but then you, I've, I've, been, I've been listened to a few resolutions that were reached. You, we saw Nigeria uh, getting the head up in terms of um, support uh, to fight Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. that, that for me was one of the proposals that we mm -hmm. seem to be getting. We also hear Nigeria asking for a re a reconfiguring of, uh, of the debt profile uh, with, with, with France. Uh, that for me is a place of weakness. But I haven't mm -hmm. said that. It's important uh, that for the, the region, mm -hmm. the war against insurgency and Boko Haram against the region should also be of interest to, uh, mm -hmm. to, the, French, to the French government. Mm -hmm. uh, just maybe, just maybe, you, you talked about um, interest and nothing is free even in Freetown. Uh, but then uh, I did read that um, the French France has uh, 100 companies in Nigeria today. Yes. That, for me, could also be an interest. Yes. And then, I mean, I would be able to employ over, over 10,000 Nigerians within, within those, 10, 10, those um, 100 companies. Yes. It also uh, could be a, a huge interest to the French government as well. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. That's why I talked about, about uh, Nigeria being France's trade, greatest, largest trading partner in, in, in West Africa. Mm. It's, uh, I mean, uh, uh, these are two partners that are important in the region, so it's important that, that we be there. Yeah. But I think that what is more important, uh, well, it, what is more important is that our interests should be clearly defined. Mm. Uh, that, that's it, that's our interests should be clearly defined. And uh, considering the situation that we are faced with now, uh, 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 security, mm. you would realize that before now, security in the Sahel has always been problematic. And, uh, and uh, who are the people in the Sahel? They, they, they are, they are Francophone countries. Yes. Mm. So security in the Sahel has been problematic. Security in, in, in the Chad area has also been problematic. So uh, at, 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 a, at, at a summit like this, in fact, one, one of our most uh, uh, interesting, um, what, what would you call it? Um, Demands. Matters, yes, yeah. a, a Demand, request yeah. Yeah. would be um, how would you help us to stem this uh, insecurity in the Sahel that is pouring into Nigeria? Mm. Uh, because all of the problems that we are express, uh, experiencing now in terms of security, really, when you trace the source, mm. it, it actually comes from Sahel. Yeah. It's just that, <clears throat> you know, I mean, we are now inside Nigeria and, and we're complaining about it, but mm. the root of the problem is actually outside, outside of Nigeria. Mm. And uh, if we have, <clears throat> If we have the, the, the power source uh, uh, of that area yeah. convening a meeting and, and we are friends, because we are friends with France, mm. and we are friends uh, uh, with, with such a power, then uh, it is for us to define what we want to achieve at this point in time. Mm. In, in terms of even the French um, <coughs> uh, leadership, uh, Emmanuel Macron, maybe the one of the closest has been to Nigeria be compared to Sarkozy or Mitterrand or any of the other guys. He's been mm. here already, mm. uh, I think it was in Lagos, so two, three years ago, I mm. think, just mm. after mm. he assumed yes, yes. Uh, the presidency. And I was looking at President Mohamed Buhari's uh, opinion piece in, uh, I think it was La Pointe, mm. where he was sort of um, talking about this thing of a contagion that has happened with the terror Wahala in Nigeria, it's now spread to places as far as Burkina Faso, yes. in the West African and sub-region. And, um, Asking that France maybe take a more active role, but how, what, what sort of active role do you, do you think when you, for example, look at the problems happening in the Sahel, mm. there goes even the G5 there, its role mm. has changed over time. What it was mm. exactly supposed to do is no longer doing that. Mm. Because people talk about socioeconomic problems faced by many of those countries. And this sort of military option where you have French troops in many of those countries, mm. whether it solves the problem, we're not too sure. I mean, mm. as someone was telling me, I think it was the director at NDI, saying that, look, you've had uh, Idris, uh, you've had um, Idris Deby die. Mm. He spent how many decades 
And the irony is that he died from the same thing he was supposed to have put out. So yes. on the one hand, maybe he was a military strong man, but on the other hand, the problems that put him there, he never really solved them because, yes. I mean, it's a tragedy. He had to die in the hands of, his, of a, violent, um, mm. uh, a, a violent force. But what do you think? Mm. What more can a friend do in terms of military, but when the real problems are, are socioeconomic problems? Uh, in, in, in fact, um, uh, what, what can they do? I think that what you should ask is that if, 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 if there's complaint that, oh, they have been there all these years and mm. the problem, the problem continues, continues, right? Yes. Now, what is the alternative if they're not there? Who would be there? Are these countries able to take charge uh, of their own security? Have they built up their own security such that they are able to take charge uh, of it? Mm. Unfortunately, the answer is no. That is, at this point in time, the answer is no. Mm. So uh, uh, I think that it would, it, would be, it would be foolhardy to say, to expect the French uh, troops or the French intervention to, to disappear mm. or all of a sudden. No, it, mm. it will not happen. Mm. It will not happen because um, our na the neighboring countries have not yet built up their capacity, their, their military and defense capacity to be able to take charge of, of their own security. I mean, mm. that, it, it is a historical uh, fact. Uh, so uh, I, I think that what, one thing that we must continue to do is we must continue to engage. Mm. And, that, and, 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 and that is really the thread that runs through in international politics and international relations. You must continue to engage. You must continue to make demands. So uh, Nigeria, yes, we must continue to ask that um, um, uh, uh, France redoubles its, its effort mm. in the Sahel, especially. I think that what, what, we, should, what, what we, we should concern ourselves with mm. is that part of the, of the Francophonie that directly implicates our security. Absolutely. Yes, only that part. We should focus on that. I was going to ask you, sorry, but mm. I, 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 we sort of have focused a lot on Sahel, but it suddenly yeah. occurred to me that on the eastern flanks we're having a problem with uh, what's going on in Cameroon. I was in Cross River a few weeks back, and I'm shocked at the numbers of refugees from Cameroon who've streamed into Cross uh, River State, into, Cross River State yes. uh, into several thousands now. Yes. And um, yes. Central Africa, where you have Paul B, is a huge problem. We aren't actually thinking of the crisis going on there as they're seeking mm. for, I understand, uh, an independent state also too. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. So, uh, 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 I mean, so, so that's what I'm saying. Mm. I yeah. mean, those are, uh, are areas that, that directly impact on us. Mm. Uh, and so uh, what we should be asking is that the intervention should focus on that area or, or the focus on those areas should be much more. Mm because they directly affect us. We should not concern ourselves with the politics or whether, whether you know, they're they are, they are elsewhere, no. We should concern ourselves with where it directly impacts upon our security, our economics, and, and uh, our way, way, way of life. Mm. Mm. Um, so that means that um, Nigeria must continue to engage. There is no alternative to engagement. Mm. Uh, we must not wish that the other party disappears, no. Mm, yeah. We must engage, and at, at the time of engaging, mm. we must also begin to build Capacity. our own, yes. We okay. must build our own institutions. There, there is no alternative to building our institutions. We mm. must continue to build our institutions, we must continue to engage, uh, so that uh, there would come a time when I pray that we would be at par, or almost at par, with the foreign powers. <laughs> that, that's, like, that's like a tall dream. That's a tall dream. That's a really tall dream. But we yeah. must not, we must yeah. not uh, be afraid of dreaming. It's true. Yes. Yes. yes, we must aspire. How, how much confidence do you have? Um, looking at all the rhetorics coming from, from the summit, how much confidence do you have that at the end, uh, Nigeria could smile uh, from the summit? How much confidence do you have? Um, as, as far as security is concerned, well, I, 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 I am confident that Nigeria will smile from the summit, right? Mm. As far as the issue of, um, you know, some people were mentioning about debt forgiveness, debt forgiveness and all yes. that. Mm. Um, I think that de debt forgiveness is unrealistic. Uh, because, you know, the, the summit is actually in two prongs. Yeah. Mm. 
One was to support Sudan and the democratic um, the navigation of Sudan. Yeah. And then the second part was the um, economics yeah. and supporting health, economics, COVID, yeah. and the post-COVID economy of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So in supporting Sudan, uh, France forgave $5 billion. But of course, you knew the problems that uh, Sudan has been in. Yeah. Nigeria is not in the same situation. So I don't see... I don't see anything like debt forgiveness. But what I see is security assistance, yes. Um, moratorium, mm. increased moratorium in the payment of the debt, all right. Okay. You know, I, 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 I see that coming. Mm. But forgiveness, I, I think it's a no, no go area. Mm. I think it's too ambitious. <laughs> you know, all the issues it's too ambitious. we talked about. <laughs> I'm also thinking um, that if you think about the, uh, what's it called now? If you think about the beginning of this year, we're supposed to begin the African continental free trade area. Yeah. Unfortunately, because of many things that happened, uh, that was pushed, pushed aside. But there was a lot of, um, like the British would say, Ajibaji, when you had uh, the, uh, the CEFA, you know, the, mm. all the Francophone countries came together and said they were going to adopt this as their own common, co common currency. currency. Mm. Meanwhile, you have ECOWAS who were trying to get their own currency ongoing, and mm. uh, Nigeria felt that they had been um, usurped in the way that whole, whole thing had gone, or blindsided in the way it happened. Mm. You think uh, we're going to find a way around that, you know, before the free trade area agreement, we can, the entire West Africa sub-region, for example, uh, can come together on the issue of the common currency and not Nigeria not feel that has been pushed aside in the way decisions have been taken from Paris. Yes, that, that you, you see, that, that, that's why I, I, I talk to you about engagement. Mm. You know, um, we, must, we must learn more the secret and the art of diplomacy, mm. more. And we, we, that is as, in, as a nation mm. and as, as the people in our Ministry of External Affairs the people who are deciding our, our external affairs. Right. Uh, because the, um, the, 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 the Francophone countries, you know, they are so linked, or let me say twinned, <laughs> with, 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 with France mm. uh, in, in culture, in everything, uh, that you know, I see the pain in Nigeria when you feel, feel that, oh, these are African uh, neighbors. So why can't we decide this thing and stick to our decision? Mm -hmm. Why must they go somewhere else to seek approval or maybe upturn yes. what has been decided? Yes, <laughs> what has been decided? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I, I think that, uh, especially because we are surrounded by Francophone countries, right? Mm -hmm. Nigeria must learn the art of dealing with the Francophone countries. Mm. That is, it's, it, it, it's not always as it appears. It is not always at, as it appears. And it's, it is not always as it were, gra gra. It, it's, it's not so, you know? It's gentleness, it's, it's uh, reading between the lines, it's, 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 it, it's pushing um, um, quietly yet aggressively. But, you know, it's, it's a whole new art. Mm. But it is something that we, it, we have to be intentional about, right. deliberate about, in knowing how to be influential with our neighbors. Mm. Because right now, um, we, 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 we don't know how to be influential with them. What we do is we, throw mon we, we try to throw money mm. and throw weight. Mm. But, I mean, you would see from example that they would take the money but when it comes to allegiance. the real decision, <laughs> allegiance. <laughs> we, don't, yes. we don't take to it. Uh, that's a sad one. In interestingly, we need, to, we, need to, we need to get a lot more involved with international exactly. politics. Yeah. That is very key. Uh, I'm trying to recall something that um, Dr. Melafia said, uh, one of which was, uh, yes, he says, uh, um, France sees Nigeria as a threat within the African sub-region in terms of being able to control the continent. Mm. So there's a perception that um, France would want to have Nigeria um, under its uh, whips if uh, they 
could enjoy total control of the continent. Mm. So Nigeria stands as a, a threat to France in terms of um, influence. You talked about being influential. So if, if France can have Nigeria on its side in terms of being able to influence Nigeria, I haven't seen the level of influence that Nigeria could have with, with the continent, with, I mean within the continent, mm. the sub-region, mm. then it's a win for France. Mm. 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 Well, I don't know about, I, I mean, I, I don't know about Nigeria being a threat to France. But uh, what I do know is that Nigeria is important to France. And Nigeria is important to France for many reasons. By its share size, mm. by the dynamism of her people, and uh, um, by the economy. And so, uh, be, so that's why Nigeria is important to France. Now, because Nigeria is an Anglophone nation, Nigeria presents a different scenario from, from the Francophone countries and what France is used to, to, to yeah, having, yeah. yes. So France makes the effort to understand Nigeria and to have Nigeria on her path, on her yeah, side. That's right, yeah. And uh, that's, uh, uh, that's a natural effort. And, and, and also, it, it, is, it is wisdom mm. for any wise nation, any wise person. If you see, if you, you, you see a large economy, why shouldn't that economy be, be yes, on your side? You. Yeah. Why wouldn't you make all the effort to make that economy on your side? put that economy on your side all the time. Mm. So I think that, that that's what uh, 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 France is doing. Mm. Nigeria is it's the Anglophone, an Anglophone country, yet it is its largest trading partner with mm. all these uh, Francophone co countries mm. put together. Mm. Mm. So it, it's natural. I don't know about it being the a threat. threat. No. It's important. Mm. All right, we'll have to leave it at that. Um, a lot of lessons learned. Um, like the French will say, uh, David, they say, play, écoutez, écoutez, tu bien. I warned you, don't go there. I warned you, don't go there before the segment started. Écoutez, tu bien. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. Dodo Richard Matos and more. Uh, Richard Matos said, Dodo and more. It's yeah. a pleasure speaking with you, international affairs expert. Uh, France Africa relations expert. Thank you. Right lawyer as well. lawyer. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many hats. Many, Many hats. Many uh, hats. <laughs> interesting. Together with uh, Dr. Milafi Obadiah, both of them uh, studied in France for, for several years, so I can imagine. Uh, it would be great to have uh, three of us, the triumvirate here, where we can have the conversation in French. Yes. Uh, at, uh, David? Oh. Oui, 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 oui. Oui, oui, oui. oui, oui. <laughs> Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I'm really honored to be here. <laughs> All right, so that's where we say... Uh, Grand merci beaucoup. Grand yeah. merci beaucoup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we'll take a quick break. <laughs> uh, David is wondering what's next. <laughs> we'll come back, we'll talk about the exchange rates and find out what exactly is going on with it. <laughs>